Thank you for joining me, everybody. This is my 10th video, and I wanted to say thank you. Thank you for subscribing, thank you for liking my videos, and thank you for watching. If at any point in this video you're impressed by the work that I'm doing, or if you value the information that you're getting from these videos or this channel in general, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Let me know if there are things that you would like to see in this channel going forward. If there's any information that you feel like your friends or family would benefit from, or if you know of anybody going for a trip to any of the places that I've covered so far, please share th those videos with them. Go ahead, share with your family and give me some feedback. I appreciate your feedback because that's one thing that I consider in improving the channel. In this video, I'm going to cover one of the most amazing places I've been to. The first time I went to Jamaica, I was really, I loved this place. Um, you know, like it's mountainous, it's green, but at the same time, you can see the beach shoreline. Jamaica was one of the vacation trips that I really enjoyed. I had a good time. So get ready for a tour of a lifetime through this beautiful island paradise. With its stunning natural beauty, rich culture, and friendly people, Jamaica is a fantastic destination for any traveler. The island is the land of reggae, music, sun-kissed beaches, and warm hospitality. And I mean warm hospitality. We'll be jamming our way through the vibrant culture, stunning scenery, and amazing food that Jamaica has to offer. If you're flying into the country, you're probably flying into Norman Manley International Airport in Kingston, or Sangster International Airport in Montego Bay. Kingston is in the southern east coast part while Montego is in the northern coast. The north is popular with tourists due to the multiple sandy beaches that line the shoreline of this part of the country. I guess you'll be excited to explore the blue clear waters in the northern parts. Not so first though. You might want to fly into Kingston first. Kingston, the capital city of Jamaica is known for its reggae music. The city has a rich history and is home to the Bob Marley Museum, where you can learn about the life and music of the legendary reggae artist. You can take a guided tour and explore the many artifacts, photos, and personal belongings of the iconic musician. Although it's not as touristy as the North, Kingston will be helpful in understanding some of the industries, besides tourism, that supports Jamaica's economy. Additionally, there are some other attractions such as Devon House and Emancipation Park that provide a peek into Jamaica's history. The Devon House is one of Jamaica's most celebrated historic landmarks. Though it was declared a monument in 1990, this mansion is the architectural dream of George Stiebel, who is known to be Jamaica's first black millionaire. Now that you've experienced Kingston, it's time to head to the north for some piña colada and some deserved time at the beach. The best way to get there is to hire a driver. This way you can have a flexible schedule and learn more about the country from a local. You'll also see the beautiful landscape and get amazing tips on the places to check out. Of course you can rely on me for the best tips, but you can rely on your driver for better tips. Alternatively, you can fly or take public buses. Public buses are about $20, but some of them may not be as comfortable or they might not be safe. If you choose to hire a driver, you can leave early and ask your driver to take you through the Blue Mountains. The Blue Mountains is a mountain range that offers stunning views, lush vegetation, and a chance to hike or bike along its scenic trails. You will have a chance to sample Jamaica's famous Blue Mountain coffee, which is grown in this region. The Blue Mountains are famous for their coffee, so be sure to grab a cup and savor the rich, flavorful taste. Now let's get to the main reason why you want to visit Jamaica. That's the beaches. Jamaica is home to some of the most beautiful beaches in the world, like those in Montego Bay, Negril, and Ocho Rios. With crystal clear water and soft sandy beaches, you'll feel like you're in paradise. Montego Bay, Negril, and Ocho Rios are all in the northern part of the country, with Negril being more to the western side. Montego Bay is located in between with approximately 1 hour 40 minutes drive east to Ocho Rios and 1 hour 30 minutes west to Negril. The drive to either cities is beautiful. You'll drive along the coastline and through lush vegetation. Although you may be tempted to stay in Montego Bay, 
Negril are some of the best beaches with the 7 mile beach topping among tourists list. The beach is known for its crystal clear waters and powdery white sand. You can enjoy various water activities including swimming, sunbathing or just a leisurely stroll along the beach while taking in some of the most breathtaking sunset views. I stayed at an all-inclusive resort for my visit. The resort was between Ocho Rios and Montego Bay. If you're within this area, you'll have an easy access to the following activities. You can visit the Dunes River Falls. Dunes River Falls is one of Jamaica's most popular attractions. Located near Ocho Rios, this cascading waterfall offers visitors a chance to climb its 600-foot limestone tiers or relax in its refreshing natural pools. You can also zip line across the Dunes Falls for an aerial view of the falls. The zip line was a much-needed experience for an adrenaline junkie like me. Another activity is ATV riding. I went for my first ATV ride and this was an incredible experience. You'll need a driver's license to show that you can actually drive. If you're lucky like me, they may let you drive with your learner's permit but under supervision. I'm not going to go into the whole story of how I got lost and they had to find me with my ATV within the bushes, but um, just make sure you carry your driver's license with you. Another thing that you could do is horse riding. Uh, the company that I signed up with also had horse riding bundled with the ATV riding and zip lining and visiting the dunes fold. For the horse riding, you'll be trained on how to bond with the horse for like a few minutes. Then you'll also be trained on how to like get on the horse and how to communicate with it as you go for your ride. After that, you'll ride the horse through a preset trail, then through the waters. This was my first time riding a horse, so it was it was a thrilling experience, to, uh, to be honest, especially when you uh, get into the water with the horse and they kind of like run or like hop through the waves. It's just it's just a different experience. Yeah, so that's it. Uh, so th for this three activities, my family and I signed up for like so that this experience companies and we we bought this experience as a bundle you know so you get to do different stuff I, the prices was just affordable give, given what you're getting really for a full day of like three different experience and lunch i think this is worth it for sure there are also other things that you may want to consider to add into your itinerary if you have time one of them is taking a boat tour Jamaica has many beautiful wat waterways and a boat tour can be a great way to explore the island Take a catamaran cruise along the coast or go snorkeling in the Caribbean Sea. You can also go for a rum tour. Jamaica is famous for its rum, and visitors can take a tour of the island's rum distilleries, such as Appleton Estate or Hamden Estate, just to learn about the production process and sample some of the island's finest rum. Don't forget to experience the local culture. Jamaica has a vibrant culture with music, food, and art, being an essential part of the daily life. You can visit local markets to sample some of the Jamaican cuisine and enjoy the island's music scene. I grew up listening to Jamaican music and it's part of my music list now. And sometimes when I play Jamaican music, it just feels like I'm back to the island and it's, it's good. I would advise you listen to some Jamaican music before you get there because this could be one of your conversations that you have with the locals. I remember for my trip, I had a really good time, like talking to one of the fishermen about Vibes Cartel, who is one of the famous Jamaican musicians. Anyway, uh, let's get to food. Um, since I had an all-inclusive stay, I did not have a chance to experience the Jamaican food scene. However, some of the breakfast at the resort was Jamaican food. My favorite was ackee and saltfish. Also, there was no way I could leave Jamaica without trying the jack chicken, you know, from where it originated from. It was one of the best jack chicken I've, ha I've ever had. The jack chicken goes well with the refreshing red striped beer or a tropical fruit smoothie. Jamaica is a beautiful place with rich culture, stunning natural beauty, and a plethora of activities and attractions to enjoy. However, there are a few things that I would recommend that you take with you to enjoy your time fully while you're there. The first thing is sunblock. Given that you'll be under the sun all day, you'll need a daily generous amount of sunblock. Sunblock is pretty expensive there. 
what you would get for 10 bucks at CBS will cost you more than $25. So be prepared, get your sunblock ready because you'll really need it. Another thing to take is water shoes. Since you'll be walking around, hiking and being in the water, a versatile pair of shoes will be helpful. Going up the dunes was pretty slippery and I wish I had my water shoes with me. You should also bring a pair of clothing that dries easily in case you need access to public areas after leaving the beach or the pool. My resort will not allow you to go to the cafeteria with your swimming wear. I don't want to add more on this topic as I will be doing another video on all-inclusive resorts, so watch out for that video. But basically, make sure that you have a quick pair of clothes that dries easily so that you can, you know, put it on as soon as you need to leave the beach or, you know, the swimming pool. And that's it! Remember that Jamaicans are known for their friendly and welcoming nature. Take the time to connect with locals and learn about their way of life. This can provide valuable insights and perspectives to your visit. I hope you enjoyed the highlights of this beautiful island and are considering it for your next vacation. Other than that, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Let's keep exploring. Peace and love. Bye! Take my eye off you. Can't take my eye off you. Dim guy.